Let's talk about the 2021 blockchain survey from Deloitte, in which three quarters of the executives surveyed say that this digital asset stuff is going to be a replacement for fiat, at least within the next decade. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's been like quiet times for these like blockchain consultancies. Um, I don't know. We heard a lot about these folks when it was uh, blockchain, not Bitcoin. Uh, but it's been like, I think we've heard uh, less and less out of these folks lately. And so it's interesting to hear from them. And they're still uh, pounding the beat and talking to C-suite folks to see what they think about crypto and other digital assets. Uh, I'm just going to toss this right to Will. I mean, you think these Deloitte guys are going to make it? Is it not going to make it? Like, what's our, what's our take on uh, what these findings suggest about the global state of crypto understanding in the C-suite? Well, we should just like pair this up against the first topic of the day, which is Visa going ahead and buying a CryptoPunk. I think they're going to make it. They are actually doing it. They're they're buying CryptoPunks and custodying them, which is wild. Yes, yeah, so we see like a ton of these surveys throughout the years, like throughout the months, really, just like bank after bank. They put a survey out. They say Bitcoin adoption is good or bad, and they have like a few analytical notes, whatever the way they choose to kind of like turn the data. I never find these things like particularly enthusiasm or like enthusing or uh, particularly like useful. It's just like very vague assumptions about where things are going. I think where they are helpful is for retail to uh, lower end institutional clients who are looking to get into the crypto market and they need some sort of like uh, validity from a larger firm like a Deloitte. Uh, to get into the market itself. So like the more we see these things, it is bullish. But I think like if you're trying to uh, actually like earn some yield in crypto, this is not your place to turn towards. But that's that's my uh, very boring two cents there. Would have been, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think uh, institutional NFTs was, was mentioned in this report. So they were not ahead of that curve, but that is some real bleeding edge stuff. Um, Jen, I saw your hand up and then let's toss it to Naomi. Yeah, I mean, it would be surprising to hear that C-suite executives didn't expect a major financial shift in the next decade. So for me also, there, it, this was just like a lot of the same stuff that, that we've been hearing. What I would love to know though, is what industries the 1200 executives that were surveyed were from, because I do think that some industries are much more bullish than others, but I saw Naomi, your hand go up. So I just wanna set you up for your take on this. One of the points that came out of the survey was Protection against data collection from big tech and private firms was the biggest benefit that executives saw when it came to CBDCs. Naomi, take it well, away. Yeah, that's, what that's do you think about that? Adam, because like reading through this report, it's they make such vacuous statements, right? And I really don't understand what they're even talking about. Like they're, they're, they're saying that most respondents identify data security and privacy as the regulatory domain most in need of modification. But I didn't see where they really delved into what that modification looks like, um, what they actually mean by modification. Did anyone else pick up on that, Ben? Did you find anything that actually explains what kind of modification they're looking yeah, for? Yeah, I think, I think more so, you know, if you're looking at, like if you're coming from Deloitte's perspective, right, like you're hitting up like all kinds of C-suite executives, right? Like across industries, like they do consulting, like that's their bread and butter. So they're working with whoever wants them in a variety of different capacities. So, I mean, I don't have the specifics on that one. My read is that data security is such a liability in a lot of different ways. Uh, when you look at like GDPR, when you look at like the CCPA in California, in terms of companies having to be responsible with it, that they want more assurances. I mean, look no further than what just happened with, for example, uh, the Poly Network. You know, like they want assurances that the data that they're using in these enter enterprise potential blockchain solutions or digital assets, which again is a huge catch-all umbrella, will be secure. You know, crypto in particular has a history of not being particularly secure in a variety of different instances. So that was kind of my read there. The privacy regulation aspect, that one's a lot odder to me because that seems to kind of point to the fact that within digital assets, they want a little bit less privacy in regards to, which again goes into compliance concerns. So those are my initial thoughts, Naomi, for like what areas they're really concerned about tackling here from Deloitte's and this sort of like business perspective around digital assets. Yeah, and you know, stable coins and uh, CBDCs certainly jumped out in some of these findings. The respondent, the respondents shared. 